All right, starting with the 400. The box mine's in. It's kind of old and ratty, as you can see, but it's mostly there. Inside, you have a little diagram of what's with it. Uh, the adapter, earphone, a cassette, which wasn't in mine, old batteries, uh, AC adapter, which it turns out I really needed, a microphone, telephone pickup, and the recorder itself and its carrying case and an audio cable. And here, when we look inside, we find the instruction manual, the recorder itself and its carrying case, um, earphones, telephone pickup, uh, DC car adapter, microphone, AC adapter, which I'm going to take out right now, and a patch cord with alligator clips. I'm not a big fan of that. The reason I need the AC adapter is, is this is the state of my battery compartment. Uh, we've had a little battery fire in here at one time, it looks like. So the battery compartment was useless when I took it out of the cassette recorder. Which was the prize I found in there. I've got my eye out for a spare 400 with maybe a better battery pack, but I don't know if whatever little fire has destroyed the battery compartment. I can't really tell. I can't see a lot of damage in there, but it might have destroyed the battery compartment too. So we're going to plug this into uh, the wall with the uh, adapter. And looking at it, you have your record button here, um, battery status indicator here, your main push button controls for play, fast Fast forward, you have fast rewind, and you have review this way. You have your eject button and your volume button and a small speaker on the back. Um, the instructions are pretty standard. Operates on four AA batteries as we know. It can also use rechargeable batteries so this is really a four-way power source. AC, DC, batteries, or rechargeable batteries. Oh, and it does have a uh, built-in microphone. See, there's some of the specifications. 80 to 8,000 hertz. Um, speakers two inch in diameter. The uh, schematic. So let's put a tape in and see how it sounds. All the music we're going to hear today on any of these is uh, courtesy of royalty free music, courtesy of danosongs.com. So we want to play. Push down for fast rewind.
forward. Click down for review. And stop. Let's uh, try and make a little recording here with the uh, microphone. All right, let's test recording with the microphone and the remote. I turn the remote on and I start a little recording here. This is a Woolen Sack 400 mini cassette recorder from about 1972. I'm also going to unplug the remote mic here and show you the external microphone which lots of times has a big loud hiss and hum to it. I don't know why. Sometimes it does okay. So now we're just on the external microphone. Let's stop this and play it back and see how it sounds. Well, there you go. As you can see, the external microphone is pretty bad. So I've got a bad external microphone and I have a bad battery compartment. Um, but I have a nice box <laughs> and with lots of accessories and so someday maybe I'll come out with a complete and great set for the Will & Sack 400. But that's just a quick look at it and I can see why it was popular and I actually have a little ad I found in the paper here uh, from 1972 um, showing that cost a hundred bucks back then I don't know what that is today but uh, 1972 price so that's the woolen sack 400 